Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here with another little symbol of what God showed me, dealing with forgiveness versus resentment, um, all of that. Now, what God showed me while I was finishing the last video was a hammer and a nail. Now, imagine someone tells you, let's imagine I tell you, I tell you, what I want you to do is go over to that wall. See the wall where the clock is? Okay, six inches over and six inches down. I want you to measure that. And I want you to hammer, a, uh, you know, I want you to hammer a nail, about a, a three inch nail. Has to be yay thick and all of that. I want you to hammer a nail into that wall. And when you hammer the nail, make sure the nail only sits out about that far from the wall. And the reason I have you doing it six inches over and six inches down is because there's a stud. And when you go down, it'll balance out everything else on the wall. So I want it to really be a strong hold because I'm going to hang something heavy on it. What are you going to do? First thing you're going to think is, where do I get the hammer? I don't have any nails. I don't even have a tape measure. How did they expect me to do this? I got to go in a little bit. I don't have time to go to the store and buy all that. Okay. So now if I were God and I knew your mind, the first thing I would say is, oh, did you say you needed a hammer? Here you are. I have one for you. Did you say you needed that nail? I have just the nail. Now all you have to do is hammer. But first, you need to measure. So here, here's the tape measure. When you get done, you will have everything you need to get that job done. And I will reward you. Now when you get through getting it done, you will have the inner satisfaction of, wow, I did a good job. But you will also get something else. Whereas I, as a human being, would pay you. Well, what God's payment is, is peace, joy, and exhilaration that he puts inside of you after you have willingly obeyed against your own nature. Even against your own will, you were still willing to be willing. Just like the mustard seed of faith. He doesn't require you to be gleeful and joyful about obeying. The joy comes after the obedience. The freedom comes after the obedience. The deliverance comes after the obedience. The healing comes after your obedience. God rewards us. And it, it's so beautiful to experience that touch from God. All the power that all these people that hurt you had over your life for so many years. Gone. Instant freedom. I am telling you this thing works. He will give you everything you need. And then after you, after you complete the task. And you won't know when you completed the task. Your willingness is the task. You're not getting paid for hammering the nail. You're getting paid for walking, for receiving the hammer, the nail, and the tape measure, and walking toward the wall. You're getting paid for being willing, for moving towards it. Even if you did a lousy job, you did what you could do with what you had. And that is the kind of obedience God wants. You may not have what it takes to get the job done. But God gives you the power. So if your measurement is off and your strength is off and you can't quite get that nail in, God will stand with you and hold that nail with you and hammer with you. I am telling you, God works with us to obey. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, that came straight from God. And I'm telling you, he wants you to know just how willing he is to help you do what's impossible for you to do. All you need to do is be willing to do it. 